Hello everyone and welcome to Tear It Open. Yes, another unboxing video. Now this one, I need to kind of set the record straight before I do so. A while back I made a video about Steel Series saying they suck and here's why. Well, I'd like to retract that statement. I still don't stand by their products 100%, but the company, after several emails back and forth, finally decided to work with me because I had purchased their Black Ops 2 mouse. It was really, you know, it was something I didn't even need to bother them with because it was a $10 clearance deal at Walmart. But, you know, I was kind of irked about the whole thing because SteelSeries is supposed to be one of the, you know, top dogs when it comes to, you know, peripherals for computers. So, you know, I'm thinking whether I got it on clearance or not, that doesn't matter. This thing should have lasted and it didn't. It broke. Well, and keep in mind, that was a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 mouse, which is a version of the, the Sensei mouse, I believe. Well, oh, and so you guys see a different background. I'm filming this for my Alienware laptop, you know, so just bear with me. Anyways, Steel Series, this arrived at my door today. A Steel Series Sensei, fully programmable, colors and all, 8 button mouse. So, here's the front of the box side the back and it's sponsored by various gaming teams and here's what it looks like inside now let's open it so hopefully this one you know feels a little better than the black ops 2 mouse because i'm not going to lie the black ops 2 mouse was it was pretty flimsy in your hands you know it, it didn't really have any real weight to it um, but I've heard some good stuff about the Steel Series Sensei, so you know definitely props goes to Steel Series for e even working with me. They didn't even have to, and after about a month's worth of emails, you know, and I'm not, you know, the the reason I'm telling you the flat out truth is because I'm not trying to make them sound better than they are, and I'm not trying to make the situation sound better than it is because it did take over a month's worth of emails and all that good stuff but anyways another time another video let's get back to the unboxing so braided cable you gotta give them props for that gold plated USB gotta love it let's see I kinda like that the uh, stainless steel type finish it's got a little more weight to it than the uh, Black Ops 2 mouse did. And the Steel Series logo here, fully customizable in color. The DPI button uh, light, fully customizable, and the scroll wheel, fully customizable. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty comfortable. Um, definitely constructed better than the Black Ops 2 mouse. So there's the mouse. Let's see what we get in here. It's a quick start guide as if anyone uh, needs a quick start guide for a mouse but nevertheless still see if there's I don't know a sticker or something in it okay need to sharpen this knife so what do we got is there a sticker oh -ho. we got a steel series decal and of course a quick start guide so anyways, Steel Series, thank you for sending me this sensei. Um, you know, I give you props for it, guys. You you didn't have to work with me, but yet you did. So, um, you have you've persuaded my mind a little differently when it comes to Steel Series products. I may give that Siberia headset a try after all. Speaking of headsets, the headset I'm wearing now that I did an unboxing for, the Razer Kraken Pro, I believe. I will have a review on that soon. So anyways, guys, I'm Shaner123. Thank you for coming back to watch another episode of Tear It Open, and I'll catch all you guys later.